got a good one today. Let's go to the other side. Right there. Press that button in. That opens up. We'll go to the inside in just a second. I want to show you guys the outside. Because just a few days ago, this actually flew up. Like this exact one flew up in the air. This is going to be a prototype for the world's first ever flying car. It's called the x Pang X2. And it looks freaking sick. I mean, look at those headlights. Super aggressive. Windshield is crazy long. It's got the light going down the middle as well. But what you probably didn't see is under here, we got a little hidden button right there. Press that. This pops up. Then what you get, that's your charging port. It'll take about three hours to charge this thing. And once it's fully charged, you can fly it in the skies for up to 35 minutes. All right, propellers. It's like this exposed kind of checkered carbon fiber. This entire vehicle is fully carbon fiber, but they have it exposed in only some areas like this, right? Everything else is painted. Here, you got green lights on the left side, and then you have red lights on the right side. That's basically to avoid any collisions in the air. So if you got like 10 people flying this, and you see someone else in the distance, it's important to understand which side the green is on to be able to avoid collision, right? It'll let other flyers know which direction you're flying in. Now that cars are flying, they also have to care about like the underside of it, right? Because it's gonna be flying over your head. You know, right now cars, like they make the outside look nice, but the inside looks terrible. You got all these tubes and pipes and rust and everything going on. Now they gotta make the underside look good. So this right here is gonna turn into this, the world's first flying car. This is coming out in 2024. From the back, what I like is that again, you have like this underside tail light. You got some fins down there, some arrows. Like kind of like almost like a rear diffuser. It's so strange. I wonder if this is the future of like uh, supercar blondie. We're gonna have to start reviewing uh, flying cars. This is my first time ever reviewing a flying car, and uh, I gotta get used to the names. Like, do you call that a rear diffuser? Do you call it arrows? Do you just call it fins? All right, X Peng over here. What's cool is that all these propellers will actually fold. You can see the folding point right here. This would all fold up. Make it more compact, easier to park maybe. Maybe you're, you're gonna park it in the balcony, I don't know what the future of parking looks like. All right, so going to the inside, you have this like exposed collage-like carbon fiber all in the cabin with the Alcantara leather on the seats and on the roof. Ambient lighting, just because it looks cool and futuristic. But let's hop inside. All right, so up here, we got like fighter jet style toggles. See, play around with that. That's fun to play around with. Uh, up here, you have the on and off button. Do not press this while flying. <laughs> Can, you Can you imagine? Up here, you have a camera. A little selfie camera, which then can be activated when you press this button. Just press this button. There you go. You can wave to it. You got cameras on the inside, cameras on the outside. Kind of understand where you're at. And then uh, why don't you jump inside? Jump inside, go to the other side. The door handle's up here. Just pull that down. There it is. And we're in. This is crazy. I cannot imagine flying in the sky in like... I don't know, just, just like this, you know? It's so strange to not have any toggles, anything to move around and you're just flying in like an automated flight. <laughs> you'd, you'd be like one kilometer in the air. It's pretty scary. I think a lot of people are gonna get uh, a bit intimidated when these flying cars are becoming the norm because it is pretty, pretty scary stuff. In the middle is your climate control, but right there you can press that and then this will let you know information on your sensor, your battery, your motor, your flight time, a bunch of different options. If you wanna select your flight, just press start like that. Select where you wanna go, 20 minutes away, 23 minutes away. As I said, this thing will be able to fly for up to 35 minutes safely. I asked him, I was like, what happens if you fly 36? You know, does it just, does it just go down? He said, no, it's fine. But 35 is like the safe amount of time that you should be flying. So let's say you wanna to go to uh, 
Hayo Island Northwest. Press that, it'll tell you how to get there. You press take off. <laughs> Can you imagine I press take off? <laughs> Just shoot straight into the roof. Both passengers have displays like that. That'll show you like your speed, your altitude, uh, different, I don't know, batteries, your engine. I just can't get over the thought, like imagine that you get like a check engine light up in the sky, like panic, <laughs> panic, <laughs> like bro. I think the, the first, x first flying car is coming out in 2024, but I think it will take a bit more time for people to get used to uh, the feeling of flying, like something so, so personal. It's a bit, it's a bit uh, intimidating. So what do you guys think? Would you buy it? I mean, uh, when this thing comes out, or would you be a little bit, uh, a little bit worried. I don't know, man. The, the future is now. I mean, this is—it's it, coming.